What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some rumors of Battlefield 2042 possibly becoming a free-to-play game. Now, of course, this is just rumor, but this is coming from one leaker that usually is pretty much always uh, spot on with a lot of stuff they report, and that is Tom Henderson. Tom Henderson has reported that EA is reportedly very disappointed with how Battlefield 2042 has performed since launch and is looking at all options when it comes to the title. This is including a option to be a free-to-play game in some capacity so i'm not sure if it's going to actually happen but if it does at least ea is kind of considering maybe making some portion of the game free to play or making the multiplayer free to play or maybe something else kind of working around the multiplayer you know some parts of it being free to play or whatever the case may be and this is definitely kind of to be expected considering the game has not had the best launch uh, that you know they could definitely had hope for now a lot of players in the community were hoping the game would get delayed i think it probably would have been a good idea if they would have delayed it till maybe you know like march or april of this year you know gave them a couple more months to get all the bugs and everything worked out because we know how battlefield games are a lot of times they launch in a really bad state and then of course they're approved uh, or improved upon you know throughout their life cycle and become a lot better game uh, Battlefield 5, in, in my opinion, was a better game at the end of its life cycle. Battlefield 4 was a better game about a year into its life cycle. Uh, but the issue with Battlefield 2042 is over the years, people have been disappointed with all the Battlefield games. And so when you've been disappointed with the tons of the games that have come out, and of course Battlefield does not come out as a yearly release, and you've been playing games for the last you know six, seven, eight years that you're not really happy with, and then the new Battlefield game is kind of a disappointment as well. It really kind of puts a sour taste in the community's mouth. They really don't want to play anymore. Once the game is out, they kind of go away and don't ever come back. It's not going to be like Battlefield 4, in my opinion. I do think they could get the game to a better state. And I do think it could you know, perform like Battlefield 4 did, where it was a really enjoyable game. But at the same time, it's not, you know, seven, eight years ago where players might actually come back and play. Nowadays, it seems like people can just go on to other games. There's so many games out there that you can enjoy. People don't really seem to want to come back and play things, especially if they're used to EA and DICE not really delivering on the games that they promise, uh, you know, from the start. So will this going free to play, if this actually does happen, really improve the player base? I think it could in some ways. It's also going to make the game probably not as enjoyable for some. I know some people will say it'll just become, you know, full of cheaters and things of that nature. If you look at things like Warzone, Apex, uh, whatever the case may be, and that could definitely be an issue. You know, you're going to play a multiplayer game that's free to play. You're going to have a big problem with, you know, getting rid of people cheating consistently because pretty much when they get banned, they just turn around and make a new account and they're right back in. So that has been a big problem with free to play games over the years. I think DICE and EA could have learned from a lot of the different stuff other companies do. Uh, when it comes to free-to-play stuff over the last couple of years, I think when Battlefield 5 was released, I think Firestorm could have been free-to-play. I think it would have been a little more of a popular kind of thing. I, I don't think it would have been on Warzone level, but I still think that if, if Fire Tank or the Firestorm, excuse me, would have been a free-to-play thing in Battlefield 5, it would have picked up a little bit more traction. Now, can EA and DICE get Battlefield 2042 back to the state where it should have been? on release or get it to a state where it's a really enjoyable game. Like I said, I think they can, but my main issue is players are just really tired of what EA and DICE have done over the last several years. Really, a lot of players are really tired of what they've done since probably Battlefield 3 or 4. If you're like me and you've played all the games, you're probably uh, in the same boat I am. Battlefield 3 and 4 were probably the last ones you really enjoyed, and that's been a long time ago, and it's hard to get people's, uh, you know, I not really trust back, but I guess kind of at the same time getting their trust back to really want to play your game and enjoy your game and purchase your games. I think a lot of people too are going to look at this as if this game does go free to play in some capacity, it's kind of going to be a slap in the face to all the players that just purchased it. I could see a game going free to play years down the road, but a game going free to play within the first year, it's going to kind of, you know, not be great for the people that purchased it. They're going to kind of feel like what was the point of buying the game now that everyone can just hop in and play for, you know, not having to pay anything for it. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see the game go free to play or do you think this will be a big mistake? And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.